Mr. Speaker, today I rise to inform honorable colleagues and the people of Bermuda about the success to date of the College Promise Program. Mr. Speaker, in 2020, the government of Bermuda made a promise to students of the Bermuda public school system that those students graduating with a 3.0 GPA or above would be able to attend the Bermuda College tuition free, thus introducing the College Promise Program. However, I would like to go back to 2017. Shortly after that year's election, the government began implementing the short-term objectives for education that were identified in the PLP's 2017 platform to help our citizens achieve their educational aspirations. This was done by, one, increasing funding for scholarships so students in public schools had more opportunities to secure higher education, and two, increasing accessibility to Bermuda College by providing financial support to students in need. I begin today by reminding members of our short-term objectives for education because our delivery has been decisive and has resulted in real-world positive outcomes, not only enjoyed by Bermudians who have pursued higher education since 2017, but also by Bermuda College with an enriched student body and, of course, by the Bermudian economy and society by way of a better educated workforce and citizenry. Mr. Speaker, right now, right away, beginning in August 2017 and everywhere, every year since, the Ministry of Education has provided a $300,000 grant to the Bermuda College for student financial aid. Since then, 434 students have benefited from these additional financial aid funds, giving them greater access to higher education. In addition, since 2017, the government has progressively increased funding for Bermuda government scholarships, awards, and educational grants. The present level is $1.95 million, almost double the $1 million available just before the current government's election. And soon after, in 2020, under the ethos of continuing to support our students, we provided, we introduced College Promise in partnership with Bermuda College. The College Promise program provides for senior school graduates from Cedarbridge Academy and the Barclay Institute to attend Bermuda College tuition free for up to two years. This program has been transformative. This program has been a transformative initiative empowering public school students to pursue higher education without the burden of tuition fees and the cost of overseas travel and accommodations. Mr. Speaker, to put the impact of such programs such as the College Promise in perspective, I would like to use the example of one such student. This student indicated in their RSVP to the reception we held that they plan to continue their education at St. Francis Xavier University in Nova Scotia, Canada. Due to the articulation agreement between Bermuda College and St. Francis Xavier University, all of their Bermuda College credits were accepted. They have been accepted into the third year of the Bachelor of Arts program in mathematics with a concentration in actuarial science. The annual tuition at St. Francis Xavier University alone is around $23,000 a year, with room and board listed at around $11,000 a year. As a result of the College Promise Program, attending the Bermuda College, obtaining a degree tuition-free, has saved this student and their family approximately $68,000 in school fees they would have paid if they had gone overseas directly after graduating. Mr. Speaker, as the Minister of Education, I often have the pleasure of speaking to young people, their parents and extended family, to understand how they are experiencing education and the challenges they may be overcoming in addition to their growth and success. Last month, I met with the very first young Bermuda, graduates, Bermuda College graduates whose aspirations for post-secondary education were fulfilled through the College Promise Program. I held a reception in their honor to recognize and acknowledge their growth dedication, and perseverance through, the time, through their time at Bermuda College. They pushed the boundaries of their potential and embraced transformative power of education. The reception was held to mark a significant milestone of the first cohort of graduates from the Bermuda College since the inception of the College Promise Program. Their achievements serve as a testament to the vision and benefits of this initiative. All involved have taken immense pride in its role in shaping their educational journey of recent young Bermudian graduates. Their unique perspectives, skills, and experiences will help shape the future of Bermuda. I have no doubt that they will be future leaders and change makers of our society and make invaluable contributions to our island home and the world. Mr. Speaker, I wish to publicly acknowledge and thank Bermuda College's President, Dr. Dorenda Green, and Vice President, Dr. Phyllis Curtis-Tweed, 
and the Bermuda College team for their contribution to the success of this program. Mr. Speaker, the government is steadfast in support, in, in support of students and will continue to invest in the inaugural graduates of the College Promise Program. Therefore, I am pleased to announce that each of the 13 graduating students will receive up to $7,500 for additional further education beyond their college, Bermuda College degrees. These funds, budgeted already for the College Promise Program, will not disqualify students from applying from any other scholarships or awards and demonstrate this government's ability to think outside of the box and do whatever it can to assist our students to reach their potential. Mr. Speaker, at the celebratory reception, I encourage each graduate to embrace the future with open arms, pursue their passions without fear, and never lose sight of the transformative power of education. I wish them all the best in their upcoming endeavors, and I eagerly await to see what other remarkable contributions they will make to our beloved Bermuda. In closing, on behalf of the government of Bermuda, I invite honorable colleagues and the listening public to join me as I extend my warmest congratulations once again to those College Promise Program graduates. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.